Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Nice to see you. I'm here with Humphrey. So Humphrey is my two-tone camphor flower horn. He's the biggest personality that I've got at the moment. Uh, and just wanted to talk about him because he's not been very well. He's fine now, so he's back to his full health. But we've had some issues with him recently and I'm not really sure what it was that's been causing it, but I have my suspicions. Uh, but this all culminated earlier in this week where his, his cock... So the bit that you see here, the nuchal hump, his cock had deflated, um, but thankfully now it has risen again. <laughs> oh, so childish. Thankfully now um, it has risen back up again, it's puffed back up again, but it's, it's quite a good early warning sign. Well, it's not even an early warning sign, it's quite a late warning sign that something's not right. And with flower horns, and specifically this one, because I've got to know them over the time that I've kept them, it's really quite easy to tell when they're not happy because they are such a fish that's full of personality that they're always interacting with you and they're always playing with you and when things are going wrong and they're not happy for whatever the reason they will sulk, they will hide away um, and they will generally fade colours and just not be happy and you can tell quite easily something's not quite right. This is a fish that will play with me, will interact with me, will play games of peekaboo and things like that. <laughs> Um, and he'll generally go away and sulk in one of the corners under the rocks if he's not happy, his colour will drain away, he just won't want to play with, he won't want to interact, won't eat, all those kind of things. Um, a few reasons why that could be happening, it could be something to do with the environment, so obviously the first thing you go to in any situation like this is you go and you check your water parameters. Um, parameters are fine in the aquarium, it wasn't that. Um, you check whether or not you can see any signs of infection or any kind of illnesses. Couldn't really tell anything was going on there. So I, I kind of thought it must be the environment um, that he wasn't getting enough interaction, that he wasn't being stimulated enough. In effect, depressed maybe. Um, so we're definitely going to get him a new tank and we're going to get him moved into a bigger tank down in the fish room. Um, my go-to solution for actually getting them back into good health was just doing an extra couple of water changes as much as i think the water was fine so the parameters here are fine there's no high nitrates there's no nitrate no ammonia nothing like that um just doing water changes has so much more in terms of benefits anyway because it will do things like replenish minerals and get rid of waste and things like that that aren't necessarily contributing to water quality but they're um by doing the water change, you are stimulating some change in the aquarium and giving it a bit of a hard reset, if you like. And I find that often works when you can't quite pin it down to one specific thing of, no, oh, X is the problem and that's why he's not happy, so we'll get rid of X and the problems go away. If you can't pin it down to anything like that, do lots of water changes. It seems to solve the problem nine times out of 10 in my experience. But yes, his cock is back to its normal size, up and proud, <laughs> so childish. Um, and he's happy enough now I'm going to keep up the water change regime and make sure that he's kept happy in here because the new tank isn't going to come for a little while. Um, but we'll go and we'll show you where that's going to go. Down in the fish room now and this is the tank that we're going to replace and upgrade. Uh, so as you can see I've already drained it down. Just need to clear out the old substrate now and get rid of some of the crap that's in there and fork for some reason. What I also noticed when I drained this down is, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there's quite the crack running from here down to here that I just plain didn't notice until I drained it down. So I can't even sail on this tank with a crack like that. I mean it was watertight, it wasn't letting anything out and I can't feel it. I can definitely see it but it's only one foot wide whereas I can go quite a bit further down to the back so I'm going to get a lot deeper and I'm going to fill up these empty gaps at the sides as well so I'm going to get a tank that's just shy of four feet to replace that. The tank Humphrey's in at the moment is just shy of three feet, well it's like kind of two and a half feet so it's going to give him a lot more room, swimming room this way and I'm going to put in a lot less decoration as well so even though it's not going to be much of an upgrade water volume wise I'm hoping that the footprint will be better for him, give him a bit more to swim around. It's also a lot easier to keep on top of water quality in a fish room because I've got such access to change water easily and do the put it on a drip system and all that good stuff. Uh, he can be kind of the mascot of the fish room. Um, so, as you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but I'm going to get a tank that's more like these dimensions where it goes a lot further back, all the way back to the wall. Uh, and I think that'll make quite the, quite the tank here. 
and give them plenty of space and you can also help me out with culls and things like that so gruesome as it is it does need to be done sometimes and because we have lots of breeding projects going on at the moment well not necessarily breeding projects there's just fish that are breeding so these are the blue star tiger endlers all these fish are available on my website aquariumadventures.co.uk but there's plenty of babies in there um, tiger endlers as well an absolute poop ton of these and I love these guys I mean look at this the shapes on the tails and the colours and the patterns are absolutely fantastic but there's just tons and tons and tons of fry in there um, down to the last couple of wild guppies so I'm going to keep these off sale for the moment and build the colony back up hopefully um, and then we've got these blonde blush endlers that if it actually focuses on them again the colours and the patterns they are absolutely ridiculous so I've got a ton of these, a ton of the babies as well to go with them but when you're breeding guppies, endlers, all that sort of thing it does happen that you get the odd deformity I mean they're perfectly healthy but they come out with bent spines or some other kind of genetic deficiency and it's just easy to put them in the cull category unfortunately so they're perfectly nutritious for a fish like Humphrey but horrible as it is that's the way life goes so like I say we've got endlers everywhere we've got bristle noses everywhere um, this is the tank is particularly is full. The thing about bristle noses is every time I come to film them, I can never even find any. There must be about 30 or 40 babies in there. And they're not babies anymore either, are they? They're kind of juveniles. Like that kind of size. We've got the regulars and we've got the um, albino ones as well. Maybe one hiding under there. More of the blonde blush in this tank as well. Um, so that's the big news, that's the plans anyway, I just need to save up enough funds to be able to afford the tank that I've got in mind for this. I kind of had one and had the funds saved but got hit by a couple of bills that need sorting out. And then the other thing I want to do, and I've talked about this a few times but I'm now, I think I'm ready to pull the trigger, is when I do move Humphrey down here, these angels, I'm going to take them up into the tank that he's come from. Um, because these, again, oops, because these angels, in terms of interaction, interactivity, interactions, they are pretty good. They will follow you around, they'll beg for food. I think they just look stunning. They're becoming really good, proud examples of angels. And I think we've got some breeding behavior going on as well, so I might be able to separate them off. But this big tank, this is gonna go and get replaced by either three or four smaller tanks that are gonna be either a foot or just over a foot wide just over two feet deep um, and keep them at the same height but that gives quite a good sized tank for all kinds of fish and um, so if I do ever find any fish to keep because finding fish is proving to be quite the quite the feat at the moment um, I've got lots of tanks ready to go so that's it hopefully that will provide a nice new home and then in the next video you'll have a chance to see Humphrey in his new place. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and you'll see Humphrey when we move him down here into his new home. Um, hopefully that'll be not too far away because I do want to get him moved as quickly as I can. Um, I just think he'll provide a great little focus for the fish room because I'm in here a lot. Um, as much as I'm in the room that he's in at the moment because that's where I do my proper job, I am doing my proper job when I'm in there, so I've not got all the time to interact with him. I'm always in here fiddling with fish tanks, so I think it'll be good to have him down here, be able to play with him a lot more. Um, it's just just a lot easier to do things in the fish room. So, if only I had a bigger fish room, but it is what it is. So here you can see he's a lot happier now. Definitely the shriveled cock has gone away. Sorry, I am so juvenile. Let's give him a little bit of food. See if he goes for that. That's him back to his old self, straight up there, attacking it as if he hates it. <laughs> so let's find you a new home, shall we? 
if you like this kind of stuff as i say please click the subscribe button it really helps me out um and follow along click the notification bell you'll see when we go live i do have some competitions in mind for upcoming weeks and months so make sure you follow along and um, let me know in the description if you've got any other hints or tips that you think i should be aware of because i'm always learning and thank you for joining me i'll see you later bye Thank you.